Hey guys, how's it going? Jose here. So I am back with another video and this time I'm going to give you a small tutorial on how to connect your Xbox One X to your soundbar and then to your TV. Now this is the Sony HDX 9000F. This is a soundbar that features Dolby Atmos and DTSX and also this vertical surround engine, which I like very much a lot. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because I noticed a lot of people have been asking me about this, how to connect, how to properly connect all this, the Xbox to soundbar to the TV, how to get the best sound out of it. This is the Samsung KS 8500, which is a 4K HDR TV from back in 2016, which and features Quantum Dot. It's pretty, it's a really good TV. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you like to support this channel even more, there's a, the Patreon account, which I'm going to leave the link in the description, and your support is very much appreciated. As a matter of fact, all of that support that you guys have been providing to this channel has been going towards more reviews. And this time, I have this LG. This is a 4K HDR FreeSync IPS monitor this is the 27 uk 650 which i'm going to be reviewing but first we're going to do some videos with the playstation 4 pro the xbox one x and of course pc as well so thank you guys so much for the support we'll be doing that in future videos but for right now we're going to do this tutorial so sit back relax and let's do this All right, guys, so let's flip this around so we can have a better look on where the cables go. So in the back of my soundbar, there's only two ports, two HDMI ports, one coming in and one coming out. And it actually shows you right over here, HDMI out, HDMI in. And for obvious reasons, the Xbox One X or whatever device you are going to connect here, either your PlayStation or 4K UHD player, this one is going to go here, the one that says in, all right? And then the HDMI says out, says out to TV ARC. Also make sure your TV supports ARC. Not all of TVs do, but for the most part, they all do. And you have to connect that, of course, to HDMI ARC on your TV. All right, so now in the back of your TV, or in my case, in the one connection box, you're going to find the HDMI port that says ARC. In my case, it's port number four. As you guys can see, it says ARC. And that's it. You're going to get connect your soundbar in this port in order for you to get the sound from the TV and also to be able to control your soundbar with the re TV remote control. And also to get Dolby Atmos from your soundbar as well. All right, so now everything is connected, your Xbox to your soundbar, your soundbar to your TV. Now let's go into the settings of each device. Uh, right now I have this Samsung TV, which I'm going to go into the settings. And we're going to go into, I think it's system, and then expert settings. Okay, yes. Now I'm going to go into this AnyNet Plus HDMI SEC or CEC. Make sure this one is on. Your TV might be different but make sure you find this option and turn this option on. What this does is that you are able to control your sound bar with your TV controller. It doesn't matter which brand, but you're able to control it. All right, so now that is out of the way, let's go into the settings for the sound bar. Now, this is a Sony sound bar. You might have a different brand, but what I wanna show you is how to turn on HDR because sometimes HDR format is not turn on automatically and some make sure your soundbar also supports 4k hdr pass through okay so we're gonna go here into the hdmi settings and then hdmi format and then right here is where you turn on enhanced format standard or enhanced right make sure you have this enhanced that way you can get hdr 60 hertz and 4k right so now that this is out of the way let's go into the Xbox settings. All right, we're gonna go into the Xbox settings. We're gonna go here, display and sound, audio output. Then over here, we're gonna have these options. Make sure you use Beatstream out. That's the option that you wanna get. And now you should be able to get Dolby Atmos for home theater HDMI only 
or DTS or Dolby. Make sure you use Dolby Atmos for home theater. And that's it. Now you should be able to have Dolby Atmos on your games and some of the movies. Let's see, Dolby Atmos 48 kilohertz plus vertical surround sound engine, which I like a lot. Now, not every single game supports Dolby Atmos. There only, there's only a few of them, but Gears of War is one of them. <laughs> That's how I roll. Cool. This is so sick, guys. The relic was stolen from an unknown pharaoh's tomb. Is this aggression called the cast down upon us? Find this artifact no matter the cost. All right, guys, so I'm just testing this real quick on uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And the thing is, this can get so loud that it's kind of scary. Like, it makes you jump. Explosions. It feels like I'm inside this. That's the experience that I'm getting. And let me tell you, this is just a sound bar. I can only imagine how a receiver with like speakers all around you will do. You know, this is such a really cool experience. But this soundbar, I mean, if you don't have the space and you don't have the money to buy all that uh, receiver and all those speakers, this will do just fine on a small room. This is just awesome. All right, so over here in the PlayStation 4 Pro, it doesn't really support DTSX or Dolby Atmos, but it has another feature that it's also very good. So as you can see over here, I'm using DTSS 5.1, right? With vertical surround sound engine plus Neural X. Now Neural X is something very similar to DTSX and Dolby Atmos. It's, it creates, it recreates this additional channels of audio. So it gives you the illusion of you having DTSX and Dolby Atmos. And let me tell you guys, the experience is freaking insane. So before we start with this, little short demo I'm gonna show you how to set it up it's really easy really really easy so all you have to do is just go over here to the menu sound and screen and over here audio output over here you're gonna change this you can either have DTS or Dolby so we're gonna try DTS right now and then we're gonna change back to Dolby and so far my experience I loved it <laughs> Another cool feature about this Sony soundbar in particular is that if you hook it up to your brand new Sony X900F, you also get Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos at the same time. So this supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, if you like this kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.